Okay, for the third time in a row now, since I keep getting interrupted. Hopefully nothing interrupts me this time. This is a $1,000 editing PC build, guys. Um, first starting it off, we have the CPU, the Intel Xeon E3 1230V3 3.3 gigahertz, uh, turbo boosted to 3.6 gigahertz quad core processor. This is going to run you at about 244.48. Um, when I say 244.48, I mean the 48 cents and the price is $244. But anyways, um, yeah. So you're probably wondering, huh, why is he using a Xeon? Aren't those the ones that are clock lower and they're only meant for workstation? It's kind of funny because you'd think editing is part of workstation. But anyways, um, <laughs> that's what I just picture editing as. But no, the E3 Xeons, specifically like the V3s, the V2s, the V1s, uh, they're not really called V1s, but they just, they're the E3s, the original ones. Those were the first ones made, obviously. Uh, they're pretty much all i7s. The only difference between this and an i7 is that there are different versions of the Xeons. Like, this is the 1230. The other ones are like the 1240, the 1220. Um, those ones have different clock speeds. This is the 1230, so it has a 3.3 gigahertz clock speed, which is turbo boosted to 3.6. Honestly, I don't think for 20 extra dollars the, <laughs> the like, 100 megahertz is worth it. So I picked the 1230 because it's actually a really popular one. The, uh, the V2 1230 was really popular. Like I said, it's practically an i7, only you can't overclock, which is kind of a bummer to some people. So if you don't want to use this, then you're going to have to spend more money on the more expensive i7 because um, that's what I would use in this build if you don't want the Xeon. Um, and secondly, it's got lower clock speeds by 100 megahertz, which isn't that much of a speed decrease it's literally not even noticeable um and also it doesn't have an integrated processing or i mean an, uh, <laughs> an integrated graphics unit i am not doing this video over again so <laughs> if i make mistakes i'm gonna make mistakes um so yeah it doesn't have an integrated graphics unit in it so it's pretty much an i7 you just can't overclock that's like the main thing you should worry about um, next up is the motherboard, the ASRock, and you're probably wondering why I'm using a Z87, but this is a Z87 Pro 4 ATX LGA 1150 motherboard. ASRock is a really cheap company with a lot of great features, and for $105, for a, I, I said screw it, I might as well take a Z87 board. It's $105, I'm putting it at a $1,000 PC build, it makes sense, um, sort of, because you can't overclock, so it's kind of a sort of, but it has tons of features, so that's why I put it in here. Uh, next up is the memory. I'm probably going to butcher this. Uh, is it Crucial <laughs> Ballistic Sport 16 gigabyte DDR3 600 hertz memory, uh, megahertz memory? I don't know. Uh, Crucial, I've used, I'm pretty sure it's Crucial. I've used in my previous PCs before, or PC, because uh, I've only had two different PCs before. Um, I've used it in my previous one, and it's great RAM. It's super speedy. Um, they've been around for a while, I think so. I'm pretty sure they've been around for a while. They've been around since I got the, you know, RAM in my computer. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is going to run you at $130. They're a great company. I'm just joking around with you guys. Um, and yeah, so next up is the storage. The Samsung 840 Evo 120GB solid state drive is going to run you at $89 at, on Amazon. The other one was from Amazon, the motherboard. If, uh, you can just see the list. I'm not going to name off where they're from. Um, anyways... The 840 Evo is a great SSD. Everybody loves the damn thing. Uh, before, the Evo was the, just the straight-up 840. Pretty sure the Evo has a couple different more features, and they're just overall better quality and better speeds. So, yeah, I picked that. The newest thing out. One of the newest things out, anyway, in terms of SSDs. Now, however, 120 gigabytes is not going to fill up, you know, it's you're, you're editing. You're going to need a lot of space. So, also, besides the SSD, we stuck in a 200... A 200, what am I talking about? A 2 terabyte um, internal hard drive. I actually chose the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sick by the way, so if I'm like slightly butchering words, it's because I'm sick. Um, I chose the Western Digital um, Caviar Green. Uh, the reason I chose the green is because it's more of an editing hard drive. It's a lot quieter, it's a lot more clean. The speed is slightly lower, but you have an SSD. You, if anything important, you just put on the SSD, like the OS or whatever programs you're going to be using. So you ain't got to worry about really too much speed on this hard drive. The reason, actually, I do believe it is a lower speed, though, is just so it can be more quiet and etc. Um, this is going to run you at $87. Uh, next up is the video card, the, AS, the ASUS 
some people get mad when I say Asus, um, but I'm going to say Asus this time, I guess. I'm just going to wind up saying Asus again later. Uh, the Asus Geoforce GTX 660 2GB video card. This is going to run at, run at you at about uh, $200. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't read that for a second. $200. Um, and this video card is a very popular video card. It got replaced by the 760, which is probably the video card that I'm going to wind up telling you to upgrade to if you want an upgraded GPU. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the Geoforce GTX 660 is a great video card. It was very popular during its time. It's only about a year old. It's only a year old video card, so it still gets the job done. About three or four years old is when you probably want to upgrade uh, your GPU. I'd say maybe three, four, maybe five years even, depending on what GPU you have. Uh, if it's a really powerful one like the 780, you shouldn't upgrade. You probably should, you actually, if you wanted to, you could just buy another 780. <laughs> if you had the money for the other one, you probably have more money for a second one five, five years later. Anyways, um, so yeah, the Asus GTX 660 is a great GPU. Um, very popular. I tried. I try to pick very popular and stuff that fits in the build. If it's popular and it's cheap, it'll go in the build. If it's popular and expensive, it's gonna wind up going in the build. Anyways, next up is the case, the Corsair 200R. You guys know I love this case and I use it in a lot of my builds, but it's a very professional looking case and I like professional looking cases. Not that flashy cases aren't cool. It's just I prefer the professional ones in my personal opinion. Plus, you're gonna be editing. Why? Why would you need an extremely flashy case? Um, so anyways, this is going to run you at $55, tons of features, USB 3.0, reset buttons, etc. Um, lots of space for a little compact ATX mid-tower case like that. Um, next up is the power supply, uh, the Rosewell Capstone 550 watt, uh, 80 plus gold certified semi-modular ATX power supply. Holy crap, that is a sentence that is not a name. Anyways, <laughs> um, this is going to run you, run you at $85. Um, and the estimated wattage for this build, if you're wondering, is about 328 watts. Um, I just stuck this in here just in case if you wanted to add any more hard drives or etc. Because those do take up power. Um, which I highly recommend if you're going to be editing and doing totally a lot of editing work and stuff. I do recommend sticking another 2 terabyte in there or whatever else you're going to put in there. Uh, maybe it's more RAM because that takes up more uh, power too. Not a ton, but it takes up more power. Anyways... This is a, since this is a thousand dollar build, I didn't want to stick in like, you know, the Corsair Builder series in there. I actually chose a gold certified power, uh, c certified power supply. Um, this is a 550 watt, so it's more than enough to power the build. Um, as a matter of fact, if you wanted to, I think you could stick another, uh, GTX 660 in here if you wanted to, but you're editing, so you won't really need that to be completely honest. You'd, it, it's totally fine just to have one. You actually, if you wanted to, you could do gaming on this build too, it just... You know, since this isn't gaming-centric, it's not, you know, I don't know how to put it. Like, this this build is not going to get you very far in terms of high-definition gaming. It's just, you know, it's it's going to get you by a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can play most games on high to medium settings at 1080p, though. Anyways, so you were wondering about that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the entire build. Uh, wonder If you're wondering about the power supply, again, Rosewill is a great company like they they're they're a little underrated and uh, underrated in my opinion the hive series the capstone series um their platinum uh, i think it's called trait tecton trayton it's something like that they have a platinum series though of uh, power supplies and those those get like five stars all the time the uh out of a hundred score i think uh the capstone got a 90 out of 100 it's something around that it's like an 89 or a 90 out of 100 <laughs> on uh, the rating websites and stuff. I've been looking at the capstone for like months now and I love the power little power supply. That's probably what's gonna get used in my next build or something around that. Anyways, so this is all in total gonna run you at about $975.38. So you're actually saving a little bit of money. If you want to, you can stick other things in this build. If you're wondering why I didn't stick a cooler in the build, it's because it it's not overclockable. Um, however, if you're bothered by noise or anything like that, since you will be editing, I will stick in the description a uh, Hyper 212 Evil. But since I just named it, you'll probably look it up yourself and buy it from somewhere too. I just, you know, if you want the link for it, I will put it in the description below. Anyways, guys, that was the PC build. Hope you enjoyed. If you're gonna buy it and or use it, 
please do. This is an awesome PC build, and I think you'll be happy with it. But anyways, share to like, comment, and subscribe for more, guys. And remember, stay sexy. Peace.